inside the UIC Pavilion after a Milwaukee win over the UIC Flames by a final of 62-56. And coach, call it an ugly win, call it a sloppy win, call it a win. Absolutely, I was just going to say that. you got to make sure you say that at the end, call it a win. Um, you know, it. we didn't come out with our best start, um, and we fought back very hard. I thought that, you know, there was a lot of adversity in the sense that they were killing us on the rebounds, um, on the boards, especially their offensive rebounds, our defensive rebounds, um, and putting us in a position where we really struggled in that area. But every single play we fought, every single loose ball, I mean, we were diving out there for it. Um, I thought we played with a lot of passion and energy tonight. Um, and especially to do that on the road, two games in a row, um, is really impressive for our young team. Yeah, UIC dominated on the boards, and the three-point shot really wasn't a factor for either team. It was a close game because of it, and overall, your defense is what won you this game. Yeah, you know, we just we communicated. Um, I think that the best communicators on our team are Stephanie Kostowitz um, and Sydney Howard when we're in those defense, and the two of them just really led us in that area. I thought Sierra really picked up her communication. Um, we were extremely active. And we double teamed Campbell as much as we possibly could. It was the goal was to not let her get an easy shot. Um, it helped that you know Nunn was not on as she normally is um, for us because she's an excellent player. Um, and so for her to miss a few shots really helped us in that flow. But um, I thought Melita Emmanuel Carr really stepped up for them um, big and really kept the game close. Um, but we closed it out at the end with composure on the offensive end and hitting free throws. Steph Kostowitz, who had a career high 27 points. 48 hours ago goes for 24 today mm -hmm. 20 after halftime was something said in the locker room was there a change schematically that would explain that really third quarter but overall second half explosion by Steph well after we got Ravonna Campbell in her second foul we knew that the game could change if we could get her into foul trouble um, and so we wanted to go at her and Steph took that upon herself um, as, as she does a lot of things but she she really wanted the ball in the paint and she really was very aggressive um, you know, she only got her 10 shots tonight. I know she got to the free throw line seven times, but some of those came on just fouls on the perimeter off of her sweep and drives. Um, but she just, she put the ball in the basket. I mean, in some tough situations too. I mean, there was times that she had two or three people on her or she was even extending really far. Just had really good control and balance tonight. A couple other players we'll have you touch on before we take off here. Uh, Sierra Ford Washington, again, uh, not a flashy line at eight points, but a couple of big baskets to kind of calm things down when it was a one, going back between a one and a two possession game. And then Alexis Lindstrom, who did not have a three pointer for the first time in two mm, years yeah. today, did it with five made free throws in the last 90 seconds to seal the deal. Yeah, you know, Sierra put our team on our back. She wasn't finishing a lot, but she was doing such a good job of getting in the paint and making things happen. When she got in the paint, the defense spread, got us some of those Stephanie Kostowitz looks, got a couple, um, you know, back cuts for Emma Rollenberg um, on some of those. She just, she did a wonderful job of creating opportunities for other people in the lane. Um, and then, you know, you hit on it, Alexis, we couldn't get her shots. They were playing the three-point line so tight. We only got off eight threes as a team. Um, and she just stayed in the game. She wasn't forcing shots. Um, she really was playing very balanced, taking shots that they were giving her. She had a couple twos um, that she had gotten off, but then she stepped to the line on big free throws. And as we talked about on the radio, she doesn't get a lot of those free throws, you know? So to hit those in big moments when you're not used to stepping up to the free throw line um, is a testament to who she is. Panthers get the win 62-56, taking down, taking out the UIC Flames. Sweep the season series for the first time in 10 years. It has been a long, long time. Cross that one off. Another milestone for this program and what has been a milestone year. Coach, appreciate it. Congratulations. We'll Thank see you. you later in the week. Thanks.